Hello, Didier Moulin from Didier Moulin Photography, photographer in France. I'm going to talk to you uh, this evening about a uh, little, tiny, little lens that I bought recently on the used market. It's a Nikkor 35mm f2.8 PC. That means that it's a tilt shift or only tilt. Uh, it's an only tilt uh, lens. And what's the purpose of this lens? It's made to correct the perspective of a landscape or a, uh, yes, when you are in a street and you take a picture of something that is tall, uh, as soon as you uh, raise your camera like this, then you will have the perspective of the building that will uh, go like this. And if you want to get a straight lines and parallel lines of your uh, architecture, then you will have to modify the picture in your uh, Lightroom or Photoshop to uh, correct the perspective and uh, make the, the building uh, look straightforward and not uh, in perspective like this. So the purpose of this lens is to correct this uh, perspective uh, just by uh, turning this uh, little uh, wheel here and then you uh, you you will uh, correct and see the result directly into your uh, viewfinder so the purpose is not to explain you how it works because there are plenty of videos to talk about that but more to show you the the result very quickly and i want to make a short video for that so i just um, uh, take this one and if you put it on let's say a Nikon body like this D3S then as you can see you can select in which direction you will uh, make the, the correction so in this case I will correct like this or like that and if I want to make a, a picture in another side then I can change the 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 orientation of my uh, lens so this is very clever so this, this is the first thing that will allow you to correct in uh, many uh, in many uh, direction and the direction that you want it will correct the, the the perspective so in this case when i am like this it's to correct something with, with this kind of uh, uh, portrait uh, picture and if i am doing uh, a picture of a uh, building with a landscape orientation of my camera I will use the, the lens like this and I will just turn the wheel until I see the line that are parallel so this is very clever but now it, usually you need to put it on a tripod and to be uh, very precise and avoid any blur into your uh, uh, photography but now imagine that you take this lens and you put it on a hybrid camera so let's say my Lumix S1R and the good thing is that now I have in-body image stabilization and that's great because I can take long exposure let's say uh, one, uh, 120 or 130 of a second and I can take this kind of long exposure uh, photography without uh, having blur in the image and I have uh, uh, directly on the back screen the horizontal that is uh, shown on the screen and I can see also directly the level of vibration that I have and I can be ready to take the picture when I want. So let's see now some few examples uh, directly and uh, you will understand that when you use this, as you can see on these uh, pictures, if you don't use the tilt uh, operation, you see that when you want to correct the perspective, then you will lose data into your image. You will lose pixels, in fact, because the, the uh, Lightroom, for instance, will uh, correct it and you will lose some pixels of your uh, image and you will lose uh, room around the, the, the subject that you took. And now if you use uh, directly the, the 35 tilt uh, lens, uh, as you can see, directly from scratch, you take the picture and uh, the building is correct and you uh, retrieve all the space that you have around the building without losing any pixels from your photography. So that's very clever and it's a good point. 
So let's see uh, several cases. In this case, as you can see, the same without uh, the tilt lens. Uh, I apply the correction in Lightroom. So you see I lose space and pixels. And now if I take the same picture with the tilt lens, you see that uh, I retrieve the space in the side, bottom and top of, the, of my frame. So very pleasing uh, and quite easy to use. You just have to manually turn the wheel until you achieve the results that you want. And you can do it even without a tripod when you are using a hybrid camera with image stabilization inside on the sensor. But another very good situation where you can use this lens is for street photography. And that was the tricky part of this tilt lens. You can use it to correct the perspective in the contrary of that, but like this. So you turn it like that. And the good thing in the street is that if you are like this, looking down, in fact, your camera is just looking straight ahead of you. So in fact, it's the contrary. It's when it's down here that it will correct. So for instance, I am like this and I see the camera here. See, or otherwise, if I am like this, and I don't correct, okay, I see the camera and you see me that I am taking a picture of you. So now if I look down while like this and I turn the wheel, I see the camera again. So let's say it's one interesting use that I have found of Nikkor PC or whatever tilt shift lens that you can have. You can also use it in street photography and let's see some pictures taken with this lens on my Lumix S1R just before Christmas uh, in the street. I was just playing with the lens. Um, so tell me what you think about it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have learned something this evening and don't hesitate to comment. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't hesitate to uh, subscribe, of course, because it, it was, because it will uh, uh, make uh, and improve my channel and then we'll be glad to make uh, new videos for you. Thank you, goodbye and take care of you. Ciao!